Hello everyone. Today I want to continue on with my discussion of the early films of Masaki Kobayashi, the pre-human condition movies. Um, and today I want to talk about I Will Buy You from 1956. This is available on the Criterion channel for streaming and it is also part of a uh, uh, an old uh, Criterion Eclipse set which was a, a a collection of four movies called Against the System. I Will Buy You is a baseball movie. <laughs> it doesn't, if you, if you watch Kobayashi's movies up to this point, you were wondering, you might wonder, why is he doing a baseball movie? Baseball was a, uh, 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 the national pastime of Japan in the 1950s, much as it was in the United States. And baseball had been <clears throat> popular in Japan even before the war. Um, this is a story that is uh, still relevant today in the sense that it involves scouts and agents, scouts for, a, uh, for the various uh, major league teams that are trying to sign the great college star, um, the scout played by Keiji Sada, who uh, has been in a few uh, 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 Kobayashi movies so far, he's excellent as the scout. An actor by the, by the name of Yansuki Ho, I, I believe it is, um, who is a great, and he is fantastic. Uh, he plays the agent. He's he's more than just an agent. He's uh, he's um, discovered the baseball talents of this young boy. In, living in, as a peasant in the southernmost part of Japan. Um, he takes him under his wing. <clears throat> he teaches him the skills of baseball. Uh, he pays for his college education. And he has got the approval of the, this player's family to negotiate a, a contract with, uh, uh, with the professional team when he gets out of college. But there's so much bribery, so much corruption in this. It's, it's amazing, and the uh, all the all the uh, scouts for the various teams they just gifts for everybody, every everywhere he went. Uh, of course, this is illegal in the United States, uh, but but scouts are always looking for ways to get around it. But the the scale of this bribery is is really. It's really amazing, and at one point, the agent who is uh, the agent for the player. Uh, who is um, uh, playing all sides <laughs> uh, in order to get uh, as big a amount of uh, gifts and money that he can accumulate. <clears throat> he asked the, the scout played by K.G. Sada when they're discussing money uh, and how much money that the player is going to get. And, um, and, and the, the agent says to him, Will you buy me? And the agent, without a without a pause, says, "I will buy you." <laughs> and and the whole movie is basically these kind of transactional uh, um, episodes. But the screenplay moves along really fast. And I, I I didn't have I didn't write the name of the screen writer for the previous film that I talked about, uh, The Fountain. Zenzo Matsuyama, his name is, and he would write many of the uh, Kobayashi movies. He started, with, this would be his second. He, he writes um, Black River, he writes Human Condition, and, and quite a few more after that for Kobayashi. So this is a bleak view of, of, uh, of the world. Um, this is probably the first movie where Kobayashi's uh, bleakness really comes into play. <laughs> and we see greed, the families fall apart, romance falls apart. Um, but it's begin to, it, 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 there's a, there's a um, moment of questioning as, as, as one would expect in Kobayashi. What are we learning from this bleak view of life and uh, what are the characters learning? Um, the, uh, the scout uh, is is chastised. It keeps getting chastised by the ball player's girlfriend for you know is everything just money, 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 and and the scout never really thinks of it that way. And he says, "You're confusing my occupation with who I who I am," and the implication being that that what you do is defines who you are. So there's there's some disillusion that builds up in the whole, 
and the whole sordid world of, of, of corruption that this, um, that this uh, movie is, is illustrated in the world of baseball. Again, this is not, uh, Kobayashi's main concerns are for the war and the effects of the war, but this is really, um, this does have some elements uh, of, of the war. The, the, uh, the, the, the character of the agent has, has uh, it's implied that he, he engaged in some, uh, some uh, evil activity during the war. But it's also the aftermath of the war, the Western values that, of individualism that, that are brought to Japan with the American occupation, uh, in which everything is, is the dollar, the, fair, uh, the free market system, individuals seen as commodities. What is, what is it worth? What am I worth? Everybody's value is determined by the amount of money that he has or he is able to get for himself. Um, so, uh, and, and the, um, the transformation that happens towards the end of the movie as the movie builds up, I kind of missed that the first time I watched it. I, I went back and read Stephen Prince's um, chapter on this, on this film, which he likes very much, I will buy you. And the second time I watched it, it really clicked. The, uh, yeah, it, it's just, uh, it really is uh, very much part of Kobayashi's worldview. Uh, especially in maybe the last 30 minutes of, of the movie. So the next movie I'm going to do, uh, and it'll be the last one, <clears throat> which is also on the Eclipse uh, set, is Black River. And, um, and this is an amazing, uh, this is Nakadai's first film. Uh, I could get his first name, Tatsui, I think, Nakadai. Um, he was a Kobayashi uh, uh, discovery as a young actor. He played in almost every, from, uh, from this film, I Will Buy You, or rather from his next film, Black River, he, he appears in almost every Kobayashi uh, movie going forward. Um, so that'll be it, uh, Black River coming next. Uh, as always, thanks for everybody who uh, listened to me up to this point. Um, I hope there's some more Kobayashi fans out there. Uh, if, uh, comments would be welcome. You guys take care, and we'll catch you next time.